Hey guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. I've got an unboxing for you. One of many in a series, Mova Globes. I did a video a while ago and it just showcased the few that I've got, but I want to do a full unboxing, show you exactly what they are, show, the, show you them completely in action and give you a, a better idea of what you get in the box. So we'll start off with this one. The box, they are quite heavy to be honest. There are a couple of different styles on the boxes. For this one, which is the Earth, it does come in a blue box, in a dark blue, well, medium blue. Tells you all the gubbins, where they're from, and the bottom tells you the code number of what these are. Now this one is STE, which is for, for Earth, but with clouds, mother globe with clouds there. So is it, I wanted the more realistic, I didn't want the map versions, I wanted something that actually looks like what it's supposed to be. The rest were the planets as well. So we open up to the top, come up with the user, user manual. I'm not sure if these are individually numbered or not. They might actually be. I wouldn't think Mova Globe would have that many. Yeah, that's quite a big number anyway. So it gives you the, the run through of disclaimer, how to place your Mova Globe. Because there are specific ways that you can and you can't put these, basically. They run off solar power. There's a, it's like a gyroscope inside them. So they all keep upright. And they just nice casually spin round and they're all the right way around. So with my way I film, this is a slight problem because I film from above. So all you'll see is the top of the mother globe because it keeps them the right way around. Again, the top of these get one stand, which is quite nice clear piece of plastic with three holes and you get three stems which go in one two and three gives you a stand that you can put a globe on right so nicely packaged in polystyrene you can see the planet there more polis well it's plastic polystyrene so it's it's nicer to actually use and it doesn't give you that horrible squeaky noise and inside is the mother globe. Now these really weirded me out the first time I saw these because you've got an outer ball here. This is a, not solid, but there's a globe inside which is suspended in, in oil. And then it's the outer, outer skin of this is in two parts. You can see the line possibly goes all the way across there where they're joined together, buffed back down. They're not perfect, but they're not too bad. You keep them on the side so you can't really see them anyway. And if you look on most of them, you've got a hole. Now I'm struggling to find the hole. There. Right there on the hole in front of my finger. Now that is obviously being made together. That hole's in place. Fill it up with oil, get all the air out, and then seal over the top. But it gives you a globe. Now on the stand, obviously. And you just leave it to it. That's all they do, honestly, that's all they do, but they are so fascinating because they go around with, with not, it doesn't have to be sunlight, it's any form of light. I've got my light strip above me here, and that's more than enough to power this round. And I'm doing absolutely nothing. It's casually turning around on its own. Let me turn that way so you don't see the line. But the problem with this is this angle from above isn't very good, so what I'm gonna do is put this over on, I've got a little setup to my right on the side, we've got another stand and we're going to show you this in action and with it casually turning around quite casually, quite nice and the, they are really relaxing to watch and just see, if I had the full collection of these, which I don't yet but will do eventually, and by the way Mova, I love your product absolutely adore these Mova Globes <sighs> Shameless plug, I don't know, but you'll never send one, I know you won't, but it's, it's, it's always hoping. There's a full overhead view here of everywhere, you can see Denmark there. The UK where I am is kind of underneath this cloud here. You've got Spain, this is kind of a typical day in, in Europe anyway, cloud day, got Russia over here. America is here and we'll see that better, bit of cloud on the top, quite clear. 
lot of cloud over the northern Pacific. Russia's quite exposed. I mean, you can't, the best thing about these, you can grab hold of them and then this is no magic trick. You're holding the outer ball, but the inner stays where it is. It's absolutely, it mind bottles me. But it is a ball in a ball. And inside the ball, which is the, the actual picture of the Earth, is, I don't think there's actually much in there. They're actually in a, a lovely little gyro, it must be a gyroscope with a solar panel. They collect light. If you turn the light off, this will eventually stop, which is fine. So they don't constantly run flat. They don't get need charging. They don't do anything. If you move them around, yeah, they've gone the wrong way there. But it will cent center itself and then it will get itself back into a, a fashion. These are so, they, they, these are silent. There must be some sort of motor in here, but they are absolutely silent. So there's nothing, I'll put this up to the camera. There's nothing you can hear. Absolutely nothing. So, with that in mind, let's get this on to have a good look at it on the on my little setup and we'll get this properly examined. There she goes, spinning nicely. I see Asia there coming around with Africa. I did like having the actual Earth picture with the clouds. It looks more and more realistic than just having a globe with no features, no weather patterns whatsoever. A shame that the part that I actually live at is covered over by a cloud, but we usually are anyway, to be honest, in the UK. You've got the Americas there, North and South America. It's absolutely wonderful. You've even got the Caribbean there with some wonderful blue oceans on. The Pacific. Loads of cloud, but it's as realistic, I think, to what it should be. There's Australia coming through. It does look so realistic. I mean, the covering of the clouds probably gets away with Maybe it's not as high definition as what you think, but with normal eyes, it looks pretty good to me. I'll just casually go around. That belt is really annoying me. There you go. Just see the line where the join was then. You do see a line to the centre of the, the globe anyway, which is kind of a shame the way they've made it. But most of it you can't really see there. You have Australia coming through. It's an absolutely fascinating to watch. And these will just continue spinning merrily, happily going about its own business. There's nothing much you can say, to be honest. The world just keeps on turning. Let's give you one more turn and I'll get you back on the bench. Absolutely wonderful to watch these. There we go. Going back into Europe and Africa. Nice. So let me get you back onto the bench. And we'll, um, yeah, I'm just mesmerized by it. <laughs> there we have it. Hope you saw a lot of, there's a hell of a lot of detail in this. It shows the deserts and all sorts of stuff. So it, it's an amazing, really good, view of the earth I mean I could have got one that didn't have the clouds in which has just got the earth but it looks so realistic and I absolutely love these to bits so if you've 
if you've got a, a spare, let's just say, these are the four and a half inch. I will. I, I would love a nine inch. Um, yeah, I would love a nine inch one, uh, globe, which is probably about that big. They're far too expensive for me. They're ridiculously expensive. I mean, these work out in the UK about £160, then about $200 it would work out. I think they're actually cheaper in America, to be honest, but there's import charges to the UK as anyway. But I absolutely adore these. These are absolutely brilliant. So I could just watch these all day, but I'm not going to. But you can rewind again or have a look at what other videos I've got on my channel, and you can watch them all day too. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in a new video. Bye for now.